important tips that will transform your mornings. We've got so many tips and tricks in this video, you're going to want to watch it all the way to the end. Number 25. Use your hands. Though there are lots of ways to suck up yolks without touching slimy egg parts, the easiest way to separate yolks and whites is with your hands. Just scoop up the yolks, let the egg whites run through your fingers, and deposit it into another bowl. Shake hard-boiled eggs to peel them. No one likes peeling hard-boiled eggs, but it's easy to do if you fill a bowl or glass partially with water. Add the egg, cover, and shake. After you're done, the eggshell should pinch right off. Number 23. Use a pressure cooker to make hard-boiled eggs. Fill your pressure cooker with a cup of water and add a steamer basket. Add your eggs and then cook on low for 3 minutes for soft-boiled eggs and 6 minutes for hard-boiled eggs. The best part of this method is it makes the eggs extremely easy to peel. Number 22. Know how long to boil your egg. Place your eggs in a cold saucepan with cold water. Get the eggs to a full boil before taking off the heat and covering the pan. Then allow the eggs to cook. 3 minutes for barely set eggs. 4 minutes for running soft boiled eggs. 6 minutes for medium soft boiled eggs. 10 minutes for regular hard boiled eggs. And 15 minutes for very firm hard boiled eggs. Number 21. Use a thumbtack to easily peel eggs. If you're boiling eggs, use a thumbtack or a needle to pierce the end of the egg. Do this while they're still in the crate so they don't roll around. Then boil your eggs like normal before transferring them to a bowl of ice water for 5 minutes. When the eggs are still warm, peel them starting from where you pierced the egg. Number 20. Cut through the boiled egg. Let's be honest, unless you're saving hard-boiled eggs for later, you're immediately going to dive into them, so why not just cut them in half? If you're still finding the eggs hard to peel, use a spoon to scoop them out. Number 19. Grab broken eggshells with another eggshell. Use half of your empty eggshell to scoop up any broken pieces that escape into your bowl. It will save you lots of time chasing them around with your finger or a spoon. Number 18. Crack eggs on a flat surface. Time and again, people are taught to crack eggs on bowls or the corners of countertops. But it turns out the best way to crack an egg is on your tabletop or the surface of the counter. This not only keeps food contamination to a minimum, but also allows fewer tiny bits of the shell to break off. Number 17. Bake eggs in a muffin pan. If you're planning to freeze a bunch of breakfast sandwiches all at once, you can make perfectly sized eggs in a muffin pan. Crack the eggs into the pre-greased tin and bake in the oven at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. You can take them out and they'll be perfectly fit for English muffins. Number 16. Bake hard-boiled eggs. Celebrity chef Alton Brown's secret to making perfect hard-boiled eggs is to bake them in the oven on a moist kitchen towel. Place the damp kitchen towel on the oven rack and place your eggs on top of it. Bake at 320 degrees for 30 minutes. Number 15. Use an onion or pepper for perfectly circular eggs. A healthy hack for making your egg perfectly round is to cook it inside an onion ring or a pepper ring. Simply slice a half-inch ring from your onion or pepper. Place that into the pan. Then crack your egg inside the vegetable ring. Number 14. Use butter with scrambled eggs. Adding butter to the pan before adding your scrambled eggs will make them taste even more delicious while also helping prevent the eggs from sticking too much. Number 13. Use milk with scrambled eggs. Water with omelets. Using milk, half and half, or even cream with scrambled eggs makes them richer, tastier, and fluffier. With omelets, Chefs advise using a little bit of water with the eggs to make the dish lighter, but not too rich. Two eggs plus two tablespoons of water is the best ratio. Number 12. Cook scrambled eggs on low heat. The best scrambled eggs should be cooked slowly over low to medium low heat, stirring constantly. Number 11. 
Scramble eggs in the microwave. Combine eggs, milk, salt, and pepper and beat everything together in a microwavable mug or bowl. Put it into the microwave for 45 seconds. Take it out and stir, and then microwave again for another 30 to 45 seconds until the eggs are cooked throughout. Number 10. Cooking easy, perfect runny eggs. To make the perfect runny eggs, break the egg close to the hot pan so the yolk doesn't break. Once the bottom is cooked through, instead of flipping the egg, turn the heat off and let it sit for 4-5 to five minutes with a lid on top. The lid will seal in the leftover heat and cook the top for you. You know what? I love eggs. It's pretty much my favorite food. Keep listening because we've still got nine more incredible tips and tricks to make perfect eggs. Here's number nine. Make an Arzac egg. Arzac eggs are similar to poached eggs, but much easier to make. In a small bowl or cup, place saran wrap and crack the egg inside. Cover with salt and pepper and any other seasonings before gathering the saran wrap and twisting it. Dip the eggs into a pot of simmering water for four to five minutes and then cut away the plastic wrap. Number eight, pour vinegar into the water. Pouring a little bit of vinegar into your simmering water will help your eggs stay together better, which is integral when you're poaching eggs. Number seven, use fresh eggs. Fresh eggs hold their shape better, which means the yolks and whites won't separate as fast and are easier to poach. Number six, poach an egg in the microwave. Fill a small bowl with a cup of water and add some salt. Crack the egg into the bowl, making sure it's fully submerged and then cover with a plate before microwaving on high for a minute. Here's a tip I used just this week. Number five, test eggs with a bowl of water. Place your eggs in a bowl of cold water. If they sink to the bottom and lay flat, they're fresh. If they sink but stand on one end, if they sink but stand on one end, they're a few weeks old, but they're still good to go, like my eggs were. If they float, like one of my eggs did, I tossed that egg, and you should too. Number four, make eggs last longer. Break eggs and beat the yolks and whites together. Then pour the eggs into an ice cube tray. About one cube will equal an egg, and they'll thaw very quickly so you can whip up quick meals. Number three, golden hard-boiled eggs. You can scramble eggs inside their shell by placing an egg inside the sleeve of a t-shirt. Secure the ends on both sides with rubber bands or string, and then you can spin the egg around and around before boiling them. Number two, waffle iron omelets. Most waffle irons will fit about three to four eggs. You'll want to combine your eggs and all of your fillings. Heat up your waffle iron and then be sure to spray the waffle iron with some nonstick spray. And cook for two to three minutes before shutting off the heat and adding it to a plate. Number one, heart shape hard boiled eggs. Cut apart a milk carton and fold it in half lengthwise. Take a still warm, peeled, hard-boiled egg and place it in the carton. Place a chopstick over the egg and secure with rubber bands so it makes an indent in the egg. Let it sit for about 